Hello friends, you are watching Android Tech Solutions and today in this video I am show you how can we configure a DHCP server in Ubuntu. Okay. So I am going to show you the complete server side and client side configuration. Okay. Our clients will be Ubuntu, one of our client will be Ubuntu and one of our client will be Windows 10. Okay. So I recommend you to watch the video till the end because I will show you the complete configuration and I will show you more about DHCP. So now let us start. So at the server side, you have to run this command sudo app get update to update your repositories so after the app get repositories are updated uh, then we have to uh, install a package to configure dhcp uh, which is sudo apt get install isc dhcp server so this is the package which we need to install at the server side to configure dhcp server okay so i have already installed this you have to run this command sudo apt get install isc dhcp server okay now i'll run this command if config so here you can see i have two interfaces uh, basically to run this command if config you have to install a package uh, app get install net tools okay so you have to run uh, install that package to uh, run this command if config okay app get install net tools okay so this is the loopback okay and this is the main nic in my system ens3 the network nic name is ens3 your nic uh, card name might be different okay so on this nic we are going to configure our dhcp server okay so basically to our dhcp server we have to tell to listen on which interface okay so uh, i'll uh, so we'll go to the file uh, sudo nano slash etc default isc dhcp server in this file we have to give the interface name okay on which uh, interface the dns server uh, sorry dhcp server must listen on so here you have to give ENS3 here you have to give your net NIC name okay here you have to give your NIC name and now I'll just write and quit from this file okay now we'll go to the main configuration file of DHCP which is in CD ETC DHCP okay here it this is the DHCP configuration file dhcpd.conf so I'll run this command sudo nano slash etc dhcp dhcpd.conf so in this configuration file first it is asking for domain name if you have a dns software configured you have to give here you have to give your domain name i'll just give uh, i'll just un uh, comment this because i don't have a dns server configured and after that it is asking for domain name servers if you have a name server configured a dns server configured then only you have to give your here you have to give your name server name so I don't have so I'll just comment this line and one more thing in the name servers you have to give your IP address not the name server name here you have to give your IP address of the name server on which the DNS server is configured if you have configured the DNS server then you have to give your IP address over here I don't have so I'm uh, commenting this the, those lines and here you have to set uncomment this uh, set, you have to set it to authoritative you have to uncomment this line okay now over here you will find subnet we we'll just uncomment these lines and this is the main parameters which we have to set in this configuration file uh, before that i'll just write and quit from this file and i'll again run that command if config so here you can see in my uh, interface uh, i have a class b ip address my net mask is this and my broadcast id is this so according to this i will configure my dhcp server and similarly at your side also you have to configure according to these parameters only okay if you make some changes in the parameters it the dns server will not understand to listen on which interface okay and uh, finally your service will not get started okay so i'll just go to the interface file configuration file and here i'll set the subnet class b 
and then my net mass of my network uh, NIC the net mass and the range of the IP address I have given in the subnet uh, okay and now you have to set the range okay I will give 1 dot 100 to 170 dot 25 dot 1 dot 200 okay so I have given the range uh, from 1 dot 100 to 1 dot 200 okay like let's assume I have uh, a lab of 100 computers and I have set all the computers for, to get IP from the DHCP server okay so what will happen the first system uh, will act with the DHCP server and it will get IP address 172.25.1.100 and then the next system will load 101 then the next system 102 accordingly uh, the 200 system uh, 100 systems will be configured uh, from our DHCP server okay so here according to your usage you have to give your range and after it is asking for the domain name servers so here you have to give the IP address of your domain name server not the name server name okay the IP address okay so I just uncomment this line because I don't uh, comment this line because I don't have a DNS server configured and I'll just comment and comment this line uh, comment this line of domain name because I don't have a DNS server and then I'm setting set uh, subnet mask 255.255.0. So according to you your usage, you have to set your subnet mask and the routers I'll set it to 255 and my broadcast address I'll set it to one set two five one dot two five five. Okay, and that's it with this configuration file. I'll just write and quit from this file. And now I'll try to start the service sudo system ctl start isc dhcp server. So this is the service. So it has been started successfully. Now I'll check the status. So here you can see it is uh, running. Okay, the status is active. Okay, uh, so here you can see listening on ENS3. It is listening on the interface ENS3 because we have given the config in the configuration file about this. That's why it is showing it is listening on ENS3. Okay. If at this point, if your service not get started, then you have mis done mistake in the configuration file. Okay. Or you have not set the uh, network interface. Okay. Now I'll just enable the service for the boot time. Okay. Now if uh, at your system firewall is configured, the UFW is configured, then you have to run this command. Okay. So first of all, I'll show you my status is inactive. You have the sudo UFW uh, status. It my in my system UFW is not configured. If at your system the UFW is active, the firewall if is configured, then what you have to do is you have to run this command. The command is UFW sudo ufw allow in on and then you have to give the nic name so here my nic name was ens3 and then you have to give from any port 68 as we know dhcp works on uh, port number 67 and 68 to any port 67 and then proto is UDP the protocol is UDP as we know DHCP works on uh, UDP protocol okay so if the UFW is configured then you have to run this command okay sudo UFW allow in on then you have an IC name okay my NIC name was ENS3 so I have given ENS3 and then from any port 68 to any port 67 and the protocol UDP and just hit enter and then just reload the UFW okay so at my side it is not configured so I will not execute this command Okay, now we'll move to the client side as I'll set uh, that we have Ubuntu client and a Windows client. Okay, this is our client side. So the client side, what you have to do is uh, I'll run the command sudo nano slash etc network slash interfaces. Okay, I'll go to this file. 
you can do manually also uh, sorry graphically also so i'm doing manually so here you have to give first of all give the uh, nic name okay of the client nic name here also i have a nic named here also i have a nic name ens3 okay so that's why in the interface file i will giving auto ens3 the interface name ens3 and then inet i am setting it to dhcp so what it will do it will take ip from the dns uh, dhcp server okay after that i'll just restart the service sudo system ctl restart networking and now i'll check the ip address so here you can see i have got ip address 172.251.101 okay and the broadcast id which we set in the dhcp server and the net mask it is in uh, it showing in prefix okay so our dns server is uh, dhcp service is working fine okay we have got a ip uh, this is our first, first system and it has got a ip address 101 okay so now we'll move to the our next client our next client is windows so in windows what you have to do is you have to go to network and sharing center in network and sharing center you have to click on ethernet and then click on properties now I'll click on ipv4 internet protocol version 4 and here you have to choose obtain an IP address automatically okay and then you have to if you have given the DNS server also in DHCP server then it will get the DNS server also okay that's why I have told you to set an IP address okay okay now I'll show you IP address so for that I'll open the command prompt and I'll run the command if config to check the IP address, we have to run this command if config. Okay, so here I have got an IP address 172.25.1.100. Uh, it is because uh, the my this system was also up and that system was also up. Ubuntu system was also up. So this system has got IP address first. Okay, and it has got 172.25.1.100. Okay, so and it has got a subnet pass which we have set on the DHCP server and it had got the default gateway which we have set on the DHCP server so it is it is uh, working fine okay now it is getting the IP from uh, the DHCP now I'll show you uh, we'll move to the server side okay now at the server site okay now at the server site uh, if you have to set a uh, static IP on a client okay before that I'll show you one more thing uh, you have to run this command DHCP least, uh, least list okay so what this will show this will show the clients which are connected uh, have our uh, IP address got IP address from our DNS server okay so here you can see this is our client uh, this is our client client.example.com and it has got the IP address this is our Ubuntu client okay and it, it has got this IP address as I have shown you okay and this is our window client and it has got this IP address okay now if you have to set a, a particular IP address to a particular system a fixed IP address then what can you do is you must know the MAC address okay so here I have the MAC address of my client this is the MAC address of my client okay uh, this is Windows system okay and this uh, this is the IP address of the client okay I'll just copy the MAC address of the Windows system if I have to configure in Windows then I'll just copy the MAC address of Windows if you have to configure uh, on a Linux system then you have to uh, you must basically have the MAC address okay uh, you are, um, I'll just copy the MAC address and I'll go to the configuration file sudo nano, nano etc dhcp dhcp.conf file and here at the last uh, here I'll just uncomment these lines over here you can in the host you can give anything uh, like I'm giving a static IP to the Windows client and Ethernet 
hardware ethernet here you have to give the mac address okay this is the mac address of windows and here we will set fixed address i'll set it to uh, i'll give windows uh, client 150 okay and i'll just write and quit from this file and i'll restart the service cdhcp server so the service has been started i'll check the status whether everything is fine okay everything is fine now uh, we'll move to the windows client and check its ip address whether our D, uh, dhcp has done the, the work fine or not okay so now here you can see our ip address has been changed and it has been set to 172.5.1.50 as we set in that configuration file okay so accord uh, basically you, you must know the uh, mac address of the client and according to that mac address you can uh, specify a static uh, ip address fixed address to the client okay so thank you guys for watching this video do like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more amazing tutorials